Danish Refugee Council is a refugee protection agency in Kenya and a UNHCR implementing partner. DRC is in partnership with the UNHCR to protect the increasing number of the refugees in urban and peri-urban areas. The role of DRC uh, ideally is mandated to protect refugees. And you realize that uh, not everyone can live within the camps for various reasons, which are uh, purely protection related issues. It's basically in preparation of these refugees for eventual returns to the countries where they come from. And so uh, with that, we units here together with other agencies, including Danish Refugee Council, have been developing programs that will build on these potentials that refugees carry along when they, they move into these countries. Toka Congo, kufika hapa, tulitoka kule na tuko na magumu sana, watu wanachinjwa, huku na huko, hata unalia. Danish Refugee Council has in the year 2016 launched programs that are targeted at these most vulnerable members of the refugee communities in Mombasa and Nairobi. The UNHCR provides funds for DRC to implement programs in livelihoods, training and scholarship, protection, refugee verification process and voluntary repatriation of the Somali refugees. Village Savings and Loans Association is a financial methodology employed by DRC in different parts of Nairobi and Mombasa to assist refugees gain financial strength and knowledge in organized groups. One of the very innovative um, activity that DRC developed last year, uh, last year but one, has been on Village Saving and Loans um, uh, Association or initiative, the VSLA, which is a community-based initiative. Tujue kama limoja, tukaongea kwa jili ya, ya chama. Aliza tumeambiwa na tunasapotiwa na Danish Council Refugee. So ni chama yambao tume, tumeunda inakuwa kama na mwaka moja. So tukajiundia vitu ambao vya kwa nishimu siyo nyo kama mipaka, masharti siyo nyo tukaunda kwa chama. Alafu tukasikizana tuka kila Wednesday. Every Wednesday tukwa na kusanyika. Alafu na kila mtu wa ntua saving yaki ya miyatano. Tukadiunga tulikuwa watu kumina saba. Kisha kujiunga tukawa tunatawa kila wiki, mia moja. The refugees are organized in groups that meet periodically with a great meeting schedules. The meetings are not only for financial gains, but also a way to create strong social bonds among the refugees. Uzuri wetu sisi tunajuwana. Tunajuwana tukijikusanya. Apart from the normal savings that refugees practice, these refugees have established social funds running concurrently with the saving funds that is meant for cushioning any of their members whenever they are faced with difficult situations like medical expenses. Iyo, ailinganisha ito kwa hiyo utaromba mkopo wapano, tunangini kando kwa chama. Sawa? Tuna social fund kwa chama. Iyo inasaidia. Ukwa na shida flani umefiliwa umefiliwa nini. Kama tukwa na mfano wapa wengi umefiliwa wengi. Wamezawa mkia mejifungo wana venye tunasaidia. Lakini tuwa gusa hapo. The most important bit of the VSLA methodology as a tool for financial empowerment for these urban refugees is the ability of the group members to master their methodology and employ it to help them operate like small banks where members can save money 
borrow affordable loans and grow their businesses. Tukikutana ni kusevu pesa kuweka mali pamoja pesa zetu wenye kukopa wakope ambao zito zitakazo baki kama zitabaki kupeleke banki. VSL ni mzuri because hata saa hii ni kidua ni kona shida na dua ni tatua pale lakini ni ta mtarudisha ni ni benki yangu bado ni ka sponsor yangu cause nikikuwa na shida na dua nitatoa lakini baadaye nita eh, ni yangu lakini si yangu <laughs> na nataka kwanza biashara ni jaribu kwamba hii mkopi natusaidianga sana nilikuwa sina kitu yoyote lakini nataka kuanzia leo ni jaribu ni fanya fanye nione nimechukua mkopo nimechukua mkopo nikaanza na 5000 so kikopa hivyo utalingana venye utarejesha kikopa kama ni uh, 5000 utarusha 6000 yani weka interest ya ya yani ya 200 ukikopa ya 200 kwa 1000 moja kikopa 1000 moja warusha 1000 moja, ya 200 Focus on discipline and VSLA procedures including proper record keeping are key to the successes of these groups especially those that are on the first stages and starting like this Mustakabal women group in Isili Mustakabal will follow strictly Danish refugee council's VSLA guidelines to help them navigate through the months of savings There are VSLA successful groups that have already made it to the final circle At the end of 9 to 12 months the group shares out the group worth that consists of the savings accumulated interest fines and donations from well wishers Agali Awamu is a group that consists mainly of refugees from Uganda today they are sharing out an amount worth Kenya shillings 130500 that is their savings and accumulated interest The highest saver Zahara will receive a total amount of Kenya shillings 9000. Zahara save 9000 and I don't have a debit so I have to get 9000. Agali Awamu like some groups in Nairobi and Mombasa benefited from the community money grant that they used to boost their group's capital. With this community money grant and their accumulated savings members borrow to expand their small businesses Irakundwa Deborah from Congo has taken a loan and bought herself a machine she uses her machine to make african clothes her business she says makes her family comfortable Naona watoto wangu wanaendelea vizuri familia yangu naona inainuka haikingari huko We jointly design a mountain pro pro program. So every three months or every four months, we jointly go to the field, uh, meet beneficiaries to track progress of implementation of activities. So far, this has been going on very well because uh, we've done the activity, the, the mountain together. and the results that we captured in the field has been always informing our programming and has been positive we've seen examples of refugees who have moved from their vulnerability situation to a more uh, self-relying or self-reliant uh, situation hata nilikuwa nashindwa hata kununua vitabu vya za watoto lakini siku hizi siwezi kosa kitabu ya mtoto ya kwenda shule ama ya siwezi kosa tena kiatu ya mtoto ndio aende shule juu ya hiyo nimejinua juu ya yeye na nini tumejikusanyika nimetusaidia sana we have seen uh, them grow from that dependency syndrome to them learning each other for me that is what we consider as DRC as the biggest impact here. with both technical and financial support from the UNHCR DRC has been developing capacities of the urban refugees both in Mombasa and Nairobi to help them have a competitive edge in the market by assisting them in product development support and business planning. UNITIR has uh, provided funds that DRC 
as they have been able to implement uh, livelihood programs which included business development. And in business development, uh, entrepreneurs need to access capital, they need to access markets, they need to access skills in doing business. And so all this, uh, with the, in our partnership, we're able to implement it, uh, support refugees in this. As a refugee, one of the things that we discourage is selling vulnerability. We sell products and therefore now product development outside the market needs to be as competitive as any other. In this regard, DRC takes these refugees through rigorous training that assists them in developing products according to the requirements of the market. To develop, to come up with value-added products or finished products that are competitive. So, you have, for you to compete, number one, you have to have a winning product. The second thing you have to do is to have quality products. Kitu ambacho market inataka, soku inataka nini? Na pia nyakati hizi tunaenda, yani wale wate wateja, wakini kitu gani wanaitaji, ukienda kwa soku unaheza uza. Their refugees are taken through detailed product designs and prototype development. Their two processes prepare these refugees to produce goods that are tasteful to the clients. Business development imenisaidia pakubwa. Sabu tumeifanya kwa muda wa kama wiki moja na nusu. Imenisaidia pakubwa kwa sababu wanatufunza kuhusu kutengeneza kitu ambacho customer nataka. Ni saidi wana DRC, nika funzwa waka ni spons, nika fanya training ya bakery, baking, nika somia hiyo training, na nika maliza, adisa indio biashara na fanya. Finally, Danish Refugee Council organizes for exhibitions for their products testing. Kutoka jana, Mupaka leo, nimeuza elfu shiri na mbili. Elfu shiri na mbili kuchanga na hiyo 14,000, you know, that is a lot of money. Nikitu minisaidia. We are here to offer product development and marketing planning support. And the reason as why we were doing that is so that they can come up with competitive product. Now, through the product development journey, they are able to establish market requirements, develop market intelligence, and walk the entire journey with everything in between to delivering to a market platform winning products. Developing products that are highly competitive in the mainstream market is vital in the process of promoting market access. Besides training and assisting these refugees to develop high sense of business and encouraging them beyond merely product developers, DRC assists them by providing conditional micro grants to boost or start new businesses. DRC waliniingiza tulisoma training ya mwanzo ya business plan. Baada ya kumaliza business planning, nilipewa mukopo wa 25,000. Hiyo mukopo wakaniambia nitarudisha nusu. Hiyo mukopo ya 25,000 ndio lininunua na hiyo material ya kutengeneza hizo vitu ziko bado. Nami ni mmoja wao ambao nilipata kwa hizo pesa za mkopo za mwanzo kabisa na nikamaliza kulipa nikashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa sababu ulikuwa uchukue na after hapo ulipe kidogo kidogo kwa miezi msita ukao umemaliza. A part of the grant is retained in the business while the rest are returned to DRC to continue assisting more refugees in Mombasa and Nairobi. Mimi pesa shilingi 1025 mkopo. Tukachelewa kurudisha na paka leo kweli sijarudisha sababu nilishona nguo nikazisukuma kibwezi nyingine nikasukuma huku kilifi na malindi kulingana na mishona ya wasichana One of the biggest challenges for refugees in their host countries is access to permanent business premises Most of these refugees before meeting DRC were hawking their wares within the streets of Mombasa 
Danish Refugee Council has provided containers in different parts of Mombasa where these refugees can do businesses. Considerable steps are taken to ensure these refugees are having safe, decent business premises to do their work. Yani ni nashukuru tena sana na nashukuru Danishi sana kutupatia iki kipa iki i container ili tupate kujimudu kimaisha na biashara. Tulipewa nafasi ya kupata business skill na Danish Refugee Council na tukasaidiwa kupewa container ambapo tunajisaidia na ku eh, ku establish bidhaa zetu eh, na kufanya biashara Some who accessed grants are still lacking business premises but business has been considerably boosted by the grants Bali niko pesa na kulipa na nipa hivyo hivyo siku matwende lakini mpaka nihakikishe mezi sita bali niambia na maliza kulipa In 2016, the UNHCR supported DRC to provide hundreds of scholarships to vulnerable refugees in Mombasa and Nairobi. In terms of uh, durable solutions, which is uh, either these refugees are integrating with the, uh, the, the rest of the population in the country, or they are getting resettled in uh, that country, or they are repatriating voluntarily back to their countries, what is it that they would take with them? The only thing they can take with them is not the shelter they have, the water they have, have all the food. The only thing that the refugees can take with them are the skills that they will have acquired. Na kweli imenisaidia sana mpaka sasa hizi nimepata hiyo diploma yangu na tanisaidia kweli kujipanga kimaisha sasa hizi. Debora Nikuzi Kalisa is a Rwandese refugee and lives in Mombasa. Jeresi elinilipia mpaka nimefanya grade 3 na grade 1 a dresser and beauty so nashukuru mungu manake ni mombasa mimi ndio nimeshinda mwanafunzi ameshinda mombasa ni mimi kwa hiyo course in line with the sustainable development goal number 4 that seeks to ensure inclusive and quality education for all and promote lifelong learning UNHCR and DRC assist vulnerable refugees to gain quality education and help them gain important skills that assist them in seeking employment or start their own businesses. UNHCR and DRC has, has been able to successfully support refugee youth and uh, young adults to access training in formal institutions. So in the urban context, most refugees attend their studies in formal learning institutions, uh, public institutions, and where they're able to interact with Kenyans. And because of the support the government has been given to refugees, we are able to see a number of refugees graduating with the certificate uh, level uh, documents or other skills, uh, diploma and even degree. Aki ya menisaidia ile mejua hena zamani, amejua tena kuliko yu vila yu maalimu za hile menifundisha, menipatea kili ingini ya kujua mamba ya hena, ma len, design, nini. Uh, they help refugees, so uh, I help it in DRC not only school, even I got money uh, to start a business. Even two years ago I got more than 30,000, then I start uh, handcrafts, uh, I do uh, handcraft and uh, sell. Yo, so uh, I got uh, many benefits from DRC. Nimeweza kujiona ndani ya moyo wangu kwamba nami ni kitu bora kuliko vyenye ingekuwa. So nashukuru sana DRC vyenye imetoa ikanileta sababu moyo wangu ndikuwa nimejidharau najua sina familia. Kwangu mimi tanisaidia zaidi sana. Najua kiwango kwa elimu ya mashule za Kenya inazamini kidogo kuzidi hata hizo za Kongo sasa hizi. So kwa uhakika kweli nashukuru Danish kwa hiyo opportunity imenipea. Na nina imani na sitawa disappoint kweli hata nikirudi DRC leo 
nitaenda kweli kuonesha kama nimesoma na kuna watu waliweza kunisponsor hii niweze kusoma nilikuwa nalala nja sahisi lali nja sababu nilipatiwa elimu ya kusonga lazima mimi napenda DRC sababu za hii imependa sana kuliko ile nimefurahi sana nimesema the professional and vocational training they receive from these Kenyan learning institutions are believed will assist them should they choose to return to their original homes. I a diploma. I have a job in my Congo I have a job in my life. I have a job in my life. I have a job in my life. I have a in my life. I have a job in my life. I have a job in my life. I in workshop. Hata tia kutengeza kompyuti, kutupu kompyuta, kupanya maintenance na kazalika. Na ana kama itanisaidia mimi hata kwa hiyo community yangu huko, itakuwa ni kweli ni kitu kikubwa nukwa nifanya. In Nairobi and Mombasa, Danish Refugee Council is spearheading the voluntary repatriation. As a way of durable solution to the Somali refugee crisis, DRC is sensitizing Somali urban refugees within their communities in Mombasa and Nairobi to help them in voluntary repatriation. DRC is UNSCR implementing partner assisting refugees to voluntarily return to Somalia. Momina Ibrahim and her three children are being prepared by Danish Refugee Council for their flight to Mogadishu. Danish Refugee Council is providing Mumina Ibrahim with the vital information about her country, Somalia, owing to the fact that she has been away for some time. To assist Mumina and her children begin a new life in their country, Danish Refugee Council, with the UNHCR support, will give her cash grant to help them set up upon arrival in Mogadishu. Under the tripartite agreement between Kenya, Somalia and the UNHCR, refugees are encouraged to voluntarily go back home. In 2016, DRC assisted 24 Somali refugees in Nairobi and Mombasa who in their own volition returned to Somalia. Alfred Caesar is a refugee from Burundi. His mother died during his birth. It's nice, I see. Nilikuwa na two, two years and a half. Kila mtu alikuwa ameshaenda. So nilikuwa na brada yangu kidogo, akona 6 years kunidiko. Hiyo tuna kwa familia mamangu kulibaki na anko mmoja pekee na ndiye alitulea. Sana. So familia yetu iko na Ana hata Familia babangu sidui kwa hapi kwa hakuna mtu nimesha wana. Caesar lives here with a Kenyan friend with whom they share rent. After losing his job as a security guard because his employer discovered he was underage. Mka umbadubi ya security. Hile nilikuwa ni mwambi ya kitambo. Nimefanya miezi nine. I didn't poor, like in before. I made a two months ko barabara. He now sells movie DVDs for a Kenyan businessman. They split the profits that support his rent and food. Caesar has lost two other jobs as a babysitter because he was underage. Alfred Caesar is under DRC Protection Unit and also a member of Danish Refugee Council Village Savings and Loan Association in Nairobi. Nilikuwa na hiyo kikundi ya 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 Danish ya tunatum ile titezi mbele group. Tulikuwa nilikuwa secretary, secretary ana sana kuna chairman, secretary ndio nilikuwa wa wa pili. Sana hiyo ni responsibility. No, no. So, I didn't know because after decisions, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Danish Refugee Council has taken improved training that he says has improved his mental strength and sharpened his survival skills.
but kitu lini leta drew kabisa ni ile training ya life skills life skills nilikuwa na drew ku kuji kujiachilia ni fail alafu ni ninuke kidogo lakini sikuwa na dua iko nafanya nini sana because he's under age he looks forward to attending the adult age this december 2016 for him to open his own movie shop unity partnership with DRC has been running very smoothly since 2013 when we started Uh, on live programming and uh, we've seen um, milestones that we've achieved through that partnership i think this has been an awesome year a journey that we saw a lot of dynamics uh, coming into play uh, a year that we saw the program grow uh, very broadly we can only but say that uh, we thank DRC for the good partnership that we've had and we look forward to continue working towards uh, uh, helping refugees attain durable solution to their situations. I would say that the journey has been more symbiotic. We've gotten a lot of technical guidance from UNHCR. We've gotten a lot of uh, close working relationship we have seen as opening up to financial institutions so it has been really a good journey not just for us as partners but also for the good of the refugee and asylum seekers yes iendelee na hii idea kwa sababu siju kama imeanza kwangu ama imeanza kwa wengine iendelee na siachi kwa sababu hii ni support kabisa inapaya hao watu ambao wanajua nini wanataka kama ni biashara inakupa support ufikia lengo fulani wewe mwenyewe ukijiweza fanya nini lakini bado ujue ilitokea kwa chama na kwa idea ya DRC ndio tusaidia iendelee na isiachi hapo